All Father, the All Mother has decimated our forces. We need your help. Only a fool would go up against the All Mother. I'm not interested in your war. We bring tribute, All Father. Now I'm interested. Yes, indeed, things are growing very interesting. <laughs> you will just have to keep tuned in to Art and the Word to find out what is the All Mother's next move. Welcome to Art and the Word. I'm your host, Nicole Georges Bennett, and I'm so thrilled that you decided to join me today as we finally wrap up this peacock painting. This started off by an easy or as an easy paint by numbers. Uh, sort of project and then I found out halfway through that the paints that came with the canvas had all dried out and so I switched to watercolors and tried my best to match the colors from the set and then eventually even that I had to give up on and so now I'm just sort of doing my own freestyle idea this is going to be a very eclectic bohemian looking sort of peacock it will not resemble anything you've ever seen in real life as peacocks are concerned. But speaking of peacocks, I found this absolutely wonderful devotional that I really am looking forward to sharing with you. And it's written by Karen Millam, and she talks about the importance of not being as proud as a peacock. So the Bible verse comes from Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in his time. And she says, Grandma's peacock displayed its fan of majestic colors in the sunshine. Light danced off the crystal-shaped feather fibers and shimmered with iridescent greens and blues. Head held high, strutting around the ranch, he appeared to be above the chickens and the turkeys. As designed by God, he displayed his plumage for all to see, doing what comes naturally for a peacock during its season of beauty. Although people don't have feathers, we have natural beauty, and sometimes like the peacock, we show off after trying to make ourselves most attractive. I remember letting fashion magazines guide me. I tried the hair, clothing, and makeup trends for years. I primped in the mirror to see if I was just right. When I became a Christian, I learned that pleasing God is important too. He creates an internal beauty in our hearts and minds. Sometimes we are drawn to the glitz and glam, but he requires that we not be as proud as peacocks. My love for glitter has now dimmed, but I still appreciate a faint shimmer of sequins. However, I try to give room for people to see my inside self before my outside self. That way, the light of Christ's love can shine most brightly. Being confident now that I am just who I was designed to represent I no longer strut along on display. God wants us to be humble servants so that Christ's light can be seen in us. Where the peacock was designed to attract attention, our hearts and minds are refined to shine from the inside out to draw others to Christ. In Him, we develop and mature just perfectly for His pleasure and purpose. Dear Lord, thank you that being a little fancy is okay as long as it does not overshadow you, the creator of all things. Help us to understand that we are most beautiful when the light of Christ shines through us to others. Amen. So again, that was called The Peacock Strut and was written by author Karen Millam. And I'm going to uh, post the website link so that you can check it out for yourself. So here we are. This is it. It's the finale of our peacock painting. And I promise you, you will never see a peacock in real life who looks like this one. It's purely imagination and for fun. I hope that you've enjoyed the process of creating this peacock. And remember, as you go out today and you take care with your hair and your appearance, that it is our natural inner beauty that will show people who Jesus is. So let's be humble so that his light can be seen in us and it will draw others to Christ. 
Thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share with a friend who could use a word of encouragement today. And remember, be creative for the kingdom.